Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Sorry, it's gonna sound like shit at the beginning. It's fucking windy as hell, but um, I'm starting to rip out all the shit. The old ECU and wiring and leads and coils and whatnot, and um, I started to get into it, and then I thought, fuck, I'm not doing it. Give you guys a quick rundown of where I'm at. I've just disconnected the battery, I'm making up coils. So I've got a coil bracket sitting in there. Oh fuck, this is windy as hell, it's gonna sound horrible. And then the other one's gonna sit down in this corner here, which the bracket's just drying up. Um, as you can see, I'm starting to ripple these off and I realize I uh, better, better film. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And, Probably also today I'll get the ECU in hopefully, maybe even crank it, we'll see if I get it there. Um, that'll be in a different video probably, I'll just cut this one as a short little thing, just getting all the shit out, but I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod and just time lapse it all, so there you'll guys see it from there. sensors I'll probably uh, attach and run those on as well um, just got to get out the wideband for my gauge and the battery oil pressure switch put the, the link stuff in I probably won't film that but I'll put the camera back on when that's all done and give you guys an update Um, tackle the, the grounds and the 
VSS wiring. Probably last and we've got get all the easy ones down to their sensors, so I'm gonna put you guys down and turn it again. Hopefully we're gonna have to load you guys in a different spot. The wind keeps blowing the GoPro over. But yeah, we'll get back to that. Alrighty, just a quick update. It's all in. It's all pretty neat. We're just gonna plug the um, <coughs> injectors in, coils in. I'm just gonna make the leads and hopefully it will start with the map I wrote. Just so now it's just sitting in there. Um, off camera. I rushed and just got it done because it's starting to get dark. Once again, GoPro is probably going to show that it's as bright as daylight, but it's getting pretty dark. Um, set it up, TPS calibration, map calibration, that's all done. Um, the hold power, ECU hold power is working fine. So, um, set up on the cal table one, holds for 10 seconds, dead on 10 seconds, she turns off. So I wired that right, which is a bonus because it's the first time I've done it. But I'm going to end this one here and next one I'll probably put the GoPro on my head while I'm checking ring on the ECU and then we got to do the timing which I marked all the timing marks down there we'll see how accurate it is um, just the offset angle for the ECU so that it's truly giving the time ignition or retard that we give it but yeah so I'm gonna end it there and I'll see you guys on the next one cheers